Adventures in Time and Space, told in future tense. Dimension X. 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 Time is an interesting phenomenon. A ticking clock, the running sands of an hourglass, all these have captured the imagination of men. But time is more. It exists now, and then, and in the future. Suppose we are in the year 1950. Coexistent in time may be worlds we have never seen, the worlds of the past and of the future. The year was 1950. It was a spring night in Mexico, fiesta time. The fireworks shot up into the clear, dark sky, and a paper mache bull ran about the plaza chasing boys and laughing men. Mr. and Mrs. William Travis stood on the edge of the yelling crowd, smiling. Oh, what is it, Bill? What are they saying? Well, they're cheering for the bull. Here he comes. Oh. <laughs> He's good, isn't he? I wonder how they rigged up that fire for Oh, you. Bill, it's wonderful. <laughs> I've never enjoyed myself so much in my life. It's terrific. <laughs> <laughs> well, they brought the bull. Bravo, Toro. Bravo, Toro. <laughs> oh, it will go on, won't it? I mean, our trip. Ah, oh, Sue, don't worry. I have enough traveler's checks for a lifetime. Relax. But suppose they find us. Forget it. Uh, they haven't a chance. But suppose they do. Suppose they take us back. They'll never find us now. Relax. Enjoy yourself. Oh, if it only lasts. Come on, darling. Let's get out of the crowd. I think you need a drink. All right. Let's try something different this time. I want to try every drink there is in the world. Oh, don't worry, darling. There's no rush. We've plenty of time now. All right, in here. Uh, oh, there's a table over there. Come on. Bill. Hmm? What's the matter? Don't... Don't look right away, but over your left shoulder, right by the end of the bar, that man. What is it? I saw him this morning in the plaza. Well, darling, take it easy. The town is full of tourists. But he was at Juarez in Tasco. Bill, I'm afraid. Well, now, don't stare at him. Come on. I know it's the same man. He was wearing the same white suit. Sit down, Sue. All right, now, come on, dear. Smile. Act natural. Mm. Bill, he's been following us. He's a searcher. I know he is. Quiet. Oh, a boy. Here, boy. Uh, si, senor. Si. Uh, Benedictine and brandy. Two. Two. Si. Si, senor. He's watching us, Bill. Well, you quit worrying, darling. The chances are one in a thousand that they found us. Probably it's just a coincidence. I... I want to lie down. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, Susan, hang on, will you? If he is looking for us, we can't run out. What's he doing now? He stopped our waiter. He's asking him something. He may just want a drink. Bill, I can't stand it. I've got to go upstairs and lie down. All right, all right. As soon as we finish our drinks. What's he doing now? Well, he... He's nodding at me. Oh. As if he knows me. And he's smiling. Bill, he's coming over well, here. Now, watch yourself. We've got to go right on in front of him. It's what he is, what we think he is. He won't suspect. I couldn't. We've got to. Now, come on. So I said to David, I said, Dave, that's ridiculous. You know that the thing is that is never going to take place. Kristen. What? You did not pull up your pants leg when you sat down. Oh, well, I'm afraid you have the wrong person. My name isn't Chrysler. Chris Ten. No, well, I'm William Travis. I don't see what my pants leg has got to do with it. Mind if I sit down? Well, we well yes, I... Everyone nowadays pulls up his pants leg when he sits down. Like this. Keeps the trousers from bagging at the knees. <laughs> But, of course, if you're not used to this style of clothing... Now, see here. We don't know you. We you don't... don't? I'm sorry. I thought I knew you. Look, this is our table. If you don't uh, mind... You see, I'm looking for two friends of mine. A man and his wife. Very much like you. The man is an atomic scientist. The wife, a bacteriologist. Very important people. 
They work on government business. Just what are you talking about? When I find my friends, I'm going to take them home with me. Look here, Mr. Uh... Sims. That will do for now. All right, Sims. I understand that you thought you knew us. But you can see you're mistaken. Now, if you'll excuse us, my wife and I were just going up to our room. We have to make an early start in the morning. Going for a trip? Up uh, Acapulco, perhaps? Love Never spot. mind where we're going. Yes, yes, of course. You don't like crowds, tourists. I'd probably like to get off the beaten path. You know, I've got a vacation folder here that might interest Please, you. Please, uh, Bill, let's go. Wait, Sue. It's put out by an outfit that calls itself Travel in Time Incorporated. Travel in Time? Yes, they've come up with a rather intriguing idea. Would you like to actually witness the burning of Rome? Sail with Columbus in 1492 on his voyage of discovery to America? Meet Cleopatra? Then why not take your vacation in time as well as in place? Uh, but uh, perhaps you've seen this leaflet before. Of course not. Then you'll be interested in hearing the rest. Travel in time, Incorporated, can cost you, you put you in the crowd at any place and time in history. Look, we uh, guarantee to teach you any language you need to move freely in any year without risk of detection. This summer, why not escape from the worries of our modern world? Take your vacation in time. Well, that's impossible, of course. Ah, but think what it would mean. A chance to escape all the tensions of an unpleasant life. War, insecurity, fear. Sims, I... Suppose you... We're a scientist working on a dangerous bomb project. Oh, you, uh, Mrs. Travis, suppose you were a bacteriologist working on disease cultures. And you had a chance to escape all that, to take a vacation 200 years in the past. <laughs> Would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Escape to a more peaceful world? A trip back to, uh, 1950? 1950? But you said a vacation in the past. So I did. But, you see, 1950 is the past if you come from the year 2155. 2155? Mm-hmm. Terrible times. Most unpleasant. A war raging, an atomic bacteriological war. I Terrible don't... times. With none of the little comforts we enjoy today, like this fine Havana cigar. Bill, I... I want to go upstairs. I want to lie down. If you were living then, think of how wonderful it would be to take a vacation in time. Back to now. Oh, you're crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. Suppose a young couple like yourselves took a trip to 1950 and didn't want to come back. Do you know what would happen? The government sends a searcher back to look for them. This is all fantastic nonsense. The searcher finds them and brings them back. Well, do you think I'll find my two friends, Mr. Travis? Bill, please take me upstairs. I don't feel well. Oh, is the lady feeling a bit sick? How unfortunate. Here are the drinks, senor. Well, shall we drink a toast to 21.55? To the future. Side, quick. Bill, what are you doing? Like shoving a chair into the doorknob. He knows. He has been following us. Bill, he's a searcher. You keep quiet, Sue. I want to think. Bill, take us back. That isn't over yet. Oh, I've got a headache. Uh, I'll get you an aspirin. What will they do to us? I don't know what they'll do to us. Something slipped. Something must have slipped. But we were so careful. Well, the searchers are trained to watch for detail. Things like not pulling up my trousers. That started him thinking. There is a man who isn't used to ancient clothes. I could kill myself for giving it away. No. It was my walk. These hot oh, heels. Careful now, Karen. Here. Thank you. Bill, I won't go back. I won't go on filling tubes with typhoid and bubonic plague. Now, take it easy, sir. There must be some way. We don't have to go back to 2155, do we? The nerve of that sim sitting there looking us up and down like animals smoking those stinking cigars. That's how I first noticed him at Tasco. He had four bottles of liqueurs and a pile of chocolate. Yes, well, he still hasn't gotten over that first greedy hunger. We've got to look out for that suit. It's the sure sign of somebody from the future trying to make up for a lifetime of shortages by stuffing themselves sick. Remember our first night? Bill, I can't stand it. We've got to get out of here. What are you doing? Packing. 
Getting the suitcases out. That's no use, Sue. What do you mean? We can get to Acapulco by morning. Don't you think he's watching us? We could get away. No, no, we've got to sit tight. We've got to wait right here for a break. I don't know what, but something has got to break. Darling. Darling, I'm afraid. No, 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 maybe he isn't sure of us yet. Maybe we can still figure out some way to escape. Come on, now. We better try to get some sleep. No. No, I... I won't go back. Security police. The bomb. The bomb is falling. It's falling. Sue, Sue, no. what's the matter? Sue. No. Sue, 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 wake up, darling. Bill, Sue, Bill, wake up. Where are we? Shh, all Bill. right, all right. Now calm down, honey. You were dreaming now. It's all right. Bill, where are we? Now, now we're still in 1950. Uh, it's all right. You must have had a nightmare. It was, it was awful, Bill. Bill, there, there was an explosion, a terrible explosion, and my hand burned and wrinkled, and the buildings broke. Oh, Bill. Bill, we won't go back there, will we? Ever. No, 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 no. Go to sleep, honey. It's all right. We're in Mexico, 1950. And we're going to stay here. Oh, Bill. Sue. I've been lying awake here thinking. It may be that he's still testing us. That he's not absolutely certain. That may be why he hasn't moved. Well, maybe, maybe he's just playing with us. Yes, maybe. I wouldn't put that past him either. He's got all the time in the world. He can stay here as long as he likes, then bring us back to the future 60 seconds after we left it. They, they can't make a scene, can they? They don't dare come out in the open. No, no, no. That might change the future. They're afraid of that. Oh, Bill. If we could only tell somebody, ask for help. Now, Sue, you know we can't. That's why we had to submit to the psychological block treatment before they okayed our vacation. <laughs> we couldn't tell if we tried. The block is too strong. Oh, maybe we can break it, Bill. And what if we did? Who'd believe a crazy story like ours? Who would believe that we come from 2155? No, Sue, that would do no good. But this is important. They have to get us alone to put us in the time machine to send us back. Well, then, then that's it. We'll never be alone. <laughs> Listen, it's still fiesta time. It'll be easy to stay in the crowd. Yes. Yes, that's our only chance. <laughs> we must not let him get us alone. He won't get us back to that war and that insane world of it. Bill. It could be the room clerk. At three in the morning? I'd better answer it. No, don't. Don't, Bill, don't. I've got to. Hello? Hello? Mr... Travis? What is the idea of this? It's three in the morning. Yes, yes. I just wanted to remind you, the rabbits may hide in the forest, but a fox can always find them. What was it, Bill? Bill? No, never mind, darling. Come on. Let's get some sleep. Why, we can. <laughs> Senor? Good morning, Senor Gomez. I trust you are spending pleasant days in my hotel. Uh, yes, the time is the best. Oh, it's, it, it's been lovely. Your special table is all ready for breakfast. Oh, fine. Wait, blazes in the hotel. And you bust away from the hotel in this country. Yeah. Take all the what is all down. that racket? Oh, great oh, excitement, oh, very great. Oh, what is it? Well, they come with uh, four trucks and innumerable automobiles. Oh, no. A motion picture company from Hollywood. Oh, what are they doing down here? Well, they make pictures of our fiesta for the, the uh, backgrounds. Oh, yes. We have a very beautiful town. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, very beautiful. That, uh, that that fat man, the one with the most colorful shirt, he is the, the chief, the uh, director. Manager, oh, yes. manager, where's the manager of this Adobe flea bag? He's coming, senor, coming. You will excuse me. Oh, I hope the table is satisfactory. Uh, coming, senor, coming. Sue, this is a break. That movie company will draw crowds, and that helps but us. But when can we leave, Bill? Well, not today. We'd be sure then. It'd be easy to catch us above on the road. We better stay and try to lull Sims. Okay, kids, end of the line. 
Frank Chow. Get up, Buster. Lay out the pepper. I got an ocean. There's Sims, Bill. Across the dining room. Well, we can't do anything now. None of these actors coming in. Okay. Follow me, kiddies. Hey, Glory, you sit next to Papa. Hey, Max, make sure nobody monkeys with the trucks and the gear. Right, Shane? Do we have to eat at this crummy joint, Joe? Cheer up, sweetie. Your mere presence makes this chasens and the truck rolled into one. <gasps> Not this early in the morning, Joe. I couldn't stand it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, look, happy, happy don't that is. It's on the deal. Look, Susan. Oh, maybe I could hire two of them. I could say it was a joke. Oh, why? We could dress them in our clothes, have them drive off in our car sometime when Sims couldn't see their faces. Where would that get us? Well, with him off on their trail, we might make it to Mexico City. It'd take years to find us there. Shh, Bill. That movie man's coming over here. Oh, oh excuse me. You folks are Americans, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Boy, am I glad to see you. Yeah, I'm so sick of hearing Spanish, I could kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on over and eat with us, huh? Oh, well, I, I don't think we should intrude. Oh, come on, come on. Misery loves company. You're, I'm misery, and that's the company. <laughs> We're from Hollywood. Yeah, so I understand. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, boy, would I like to be there now. We're down here for some preliminary shots on some technicolor clam bake, you know. <laughs> Real turkey, stinkeroo. Oh, oh that, that's too bad. But we've got an expense account. Oh, that's a lovely thing. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm Joe Melton. I'm the unit director. Oh, well, I'm William Travis. This is my wife, Susan. Oh, Hi. Mutual. Oh, come over, kids. Join the party. Cheer us up. Only no tamales. I burned out three kidneys on tamales since I came over the border. <laughs> hey, hey, am, am I funny? Oh, wonderful. Oh, come on over. Hey, Kitty, I got new blood here, brother. Oh, Just a moment, Mr. Travis. I thought you might be breakfasting with me. Alone. Sorry. Oh, no, I got them first, Mac. You want to join us? Uh, no, no, I've already ordered. Mr. Travis, I think you'd better talk with me now. Hey, is this guy giving you trouble? It's all right. Well, you say the word. I'll have Max pitch him out on his ear. No, 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 it's all right. Uh, we'll be right over, Mr. Melton. Oh, Bill. We'll talk to Mr. Sims. Uh, Mr. Melton, uh, sort of keep an eye on us, huh? After all, you found us first. Yeah, sure. Well, come on over soon, kids. Joe, what? Sit down, Mr. Travers. I hope you slept well. Did you? I'm not used to spring mattresses. But there are compensations. I stayed up half the night trying new cigarettes and foods. <laughs> A whole new spectrum of sensation. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? <laughs> Still acting, huh? But it's no use. You can't stay in crowds all the time. I'll get you alone soon enough. I'm immensely patient. Let's come to the point. It took me a month to trace you down and be sure of you. Now, if you come with me quietly, I might be able to get you off with no punishment. If you agree to go back to work on the bacteria bomb. We don't know what you're talking about. Stop it. Use your intelligence. You know we can't let you get away with this escape. Other people in the year 2155 might get the same idea and do the same. We need people to fight your war. Bill. It's all right, Susan. We can talk on his terms now. He's got us. We can't escape. <sighs> At last. Really, you've both been incredibly romantic. Running away from your responsibilities. Running away from horror. Nonsense. Only a war. Only? With half the world dead, the other half dying? Yes. But we can't have you escaping here while we drop off a cliff. Dying people love to know that others died with hey, them. Hey, kids, break it up. We're waiting on you. The longer you keep me waiting, the harder it will go on you. What do you mean? We need you on that bomb project. Return now and no torture. Torture? Yes. You see, later we'll force you to work. And after you finish the bomb, we'll... Uh, Try a number of complicated new devices on you. Bill. As you say, you can't escape. We have all the time in the world. Here in 1950. Sims, I'll make a deal with you. I'll come back now. If my wife stays here alive, safe, away from that war. No, Bill, Keep no. Keep quiet, sir. Well, Sims, you need me for that bomb. You can duplicate her work. It exceeds my authority. But all right. Meet me in the plaza in ten minutes. I'll pick you up in the car. Good. 
We'll drive out into the country to some deserted spot, and I'll have the time travel machine pick us up. Bill, I won't let you. Don't argue, Sue. It's settled. Good. I'll meet you in the plaza in ten minutes. Your wife may stay here as long as she wishes. All right, Sims, it's a deal. Don't try anything now, Travis. I know when I'm licked. We just want a few minutes to say goodbye. I'll be seeing you then. Bill, I won't let you do it. I won't let you. Please, Susan. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to get help. You can't. The psychological block It's won't... our last chance, Bill. Hey, hey, aren't you two going to join us? I thought Mr. You... Melton, I've got something to tell you, and you've got to believe me. Sue, it won't work. I've got to try. Go ahead, kids. Spill it. You've got to understand. You see, we really... Bill. Bill, my head. I, I can't think, but... My, Sue, my you head. You need a my promo, head. honey. It can't work, Sue. Now, the block oh, is too strong. Bill. Come on, we'd better get the car. Hey, my someone's head. crying. Now, breakfast, no time for people to cry. Now, what in the world could a good-looking kid like you find to cry about? <laughs> I won't let you do it. Now, don't make it harder, I'll Susan. I'll let me go back with you. We'll get through some way. You think I'm going to let you go back to that war? <laughs> Sue, please stop. We haven't got much time. It was so wonderful here, Bill. Oh, Bill. And there he is. <laughs> smoking those cigars of his, waiting for us. Oh, man. There must be some way, some way that we can both stay here. Maybe there is. Bill! Bill, what are you going to do? Hang on, Sue, and duck when I tell you. No! No, Bill, you're heading right for him. not going to get either of us now. Oh. Right, down, Sue, down! <laughs> It's all right, darling. It's all over now. This is the mayor, dear. Senora, your husband has been officially cleared in this most unfortunate affair. It is obvious this uh, Senor Sims died of an unavoidable accident. An accident? Yes. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, adios, Senor. Senora. Adios. Will they want to see you again? No, 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 no. I'm clear. I lost control of the car. That's the way it stands. Oh, Sue, I hated to kill him. I never wanted to do anything like that in my life. Where will we go now? Mexico City? Well, the car's in the repair shop. It won't be ready till four, then we'll get out of here. Hey there, Travis! Wait Who's up! That? It's the movie man, Bill. Oh. He was very good to me when they had you in there. Oh? Hey, I heard what happened. They sprung you. Oh, great, yes. great. It, it was an accident. Well, it's lucky you didn't get hurt yourselves. Everything okay now? Yes. Yes, I think so. Oh, that's fine, but you both look a little rocky. Say, so you want to get your mind off your troubles? We're through for the day. Clouds fouled up our shooting schedule, so we're going to put a header on it up at the hotel. Well, I don't, I don't think we'd better. Well, you've got to wait till your car's fixed, don't you? Oh, come on up. It'll do you good to relax or get your mind off what's happened. Gloria's cracking the ice now. Well, maybe we will join you. I've got to go check up on the car and well, then... Oh, don't miss the party, kiddies. I'll see you upstairs. Bill, I, I, I don't think oh, we... Oh, come on, honey. We've got the break now. Sims is dead. Before they can put another searcher on our trail, we'll have time to make a clean getaway. Bill, I'm, I'm so tired. I know. And what you need is a little excitement. We raid a celebration, honey. <laughs> well, I, I guess it would be nice to... Unwind. Sure. We'll go up to Melton's room, have a couple of drinks and a few laughs. Honey, it's all over. <laughs> we can relax. I thought we'd join you, Mr. Melton. Oh, great, great. Call me Joe. Hey, Gloria, yank another cork. We got company. Way ahead of you. Here you are, kids. <laughs> thank, oh, thank you. Thank you. You kids rate a drink. That was a pretty messy business, but it's all over now, huh? Yes, it's all over. Yes, well, it's time to unlax. Grab a glass, honey. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey, quiet, everybody. Quiet, quiet. 
How about a toast to our guests? Oh, oh, sure. Oh, you bet. All right. To a very beautiful lady, lovely enough for the movies. Oh, what? Thank you. No, I'm not kidding. That's why I came over to you in the first place. I might even give you a test. Oh. <laughs> no, I mean it, honey. You're pretty nice. I, I could make you a movie star. Oh, and take me to uh, Hollywood? Well, at least to get us out of Mexico. No, you're not serious. Sure I am. Uh, uh, Gloria, how about a refill? Coming up. Well, it sounds wonderful, doesn't it, Bill? Uh, yes. Uh, Los Angeles is a pretty crowded city, isn't it? Crowded? Wait till you see the sunset bus. No, you don't really think I could be an actress. You don't have to cheer me up anymore. I'm feeling wonderful now. No, I'm serious. I think you'd be great. I want to do a suspense story. Sort of a war story, you know. Uh, Gloria, pour Mr. Travis another glass. Okay, Joe. Uh, a suspense story? Yes, dear, yes. A story about a man and a wife who live in a little house. Now, I'm just ad living this, you understand. Oh, yeah, sure. Go on. Well, there's a war out, see? A terrible war, you see? They live in the year 2155. Now, here's the gimmick. They escape into the past, and they kill a man who follows them to bring them back. Uh, Gloria, honeypot, get Mr. Travis another glass. Hmm? Well, sir, this couple takes refuge with a group of movie people. Safety in numbers, they figure. Bill, Bill. Ah, but the story goes on. This couple is terribly important for a new project. Uh, let's call it a bacteria bomb. So the searchers figure out a way that they can get them alone in a hotel room. Shove a chair under the door now, Max. Yes, sir. You see, the workers, searchers may work alone or in groups, so that if one of them's killed, the rest carry on. Don't you think that would make a wonderful picture, huh, Susan? Don't you, Bill? You're not gonna get us, Melton. Stand still. Put that gun down, Travis. Hey, Who is it? The manager. Your guy oh, is on grab the gun, Max. Oh, no, I'm not going there. He's not made things oh. worse, Mr. Travis. Yeah. Oh, the manager, he heard us. Let's get going. Let's go. He'll break down our door in a minute. Max, get ready to travel. Get that. Take a good look, Mr. Travis. Take a good look at 1950. You won't be seeing it anymore. Throw the switch. All right, Juan. Break down the door. Where are they? I was at the door. I heard them inside. They're gone. Oh, the iron bars are undisturbed. What, what happened to them, Juan? They, they just disappeared, all of them. Nuestro Padre Chiel. All right, Juan. Pray later. Senor, I think you'd better send for the priest in holy water. Later, later, Juan. They, they just disappeared. Look here in the closet. See? Hey, bottles, hundreds of bottles. Hey, Chartreuse, hey. cognac, absinthe, tequila, Turkish cigarettes, and boxes of pure Havana cigars. These crazy Americanos. Why should anyone leave all this behind? Juan, never question Providence. There is enough here to last us both for a month. Juan? I think we can look forward to a most happy future. You have just heard another adventure into the unknown world of the future. The world of... Dimension X. <laughs> Now, about next week, suppose that you were a private detective and into your office walked a strange-looking client. Would you believe him if he told you that there was a Martian embassy hidden somewhere in New York where spies from the Martian planet were preparing for the invasion of Earth? We'll tell you about it next week. Tonight's adventure in Dimension X was the Ray Bradbury story to the future as adapted for radio by Ernest Canoy. John Larkin was heard as Bill, and Jan Miner as Susan. Your narrator was Norman Rose. Music by Albert Berman, engineer Don Abbott. Dimension X is produced by Van Woodward and directed by Edward King. Tomorrow it's high adventure, now it's truth or consequences on NBC.